Hi everybody, happy Thursday. This is gonna be our last lesson for the week since we have our fun Friday tomorrow. I am going to talk to you guys about an important thing that happened a long time ago to Native Americans. So we learned that the Native Americans were people who, when people were traveling on the Oregon Trail, they came in contact with Native Americans, right? When I say Native Americans, I mean people who wore the things with feathers and very beautiful colors. They have darker hair, a little bit of darker skin. Um, they use bow and arrows. So we're gonna read about something that happened to Native Americans during this time, the same time as the Oregon Trail. Remember when people were moving from the middle of the United States over to Oregon and California, and as well as the Lewis and Clark expedition when they were moving from St. Louis, Missouri, and they were going and searching the West Coast, okay? And all of this is connected because it's all westward expansion. It's all the expansion, remember, from the middle, this area of the United States, over to the West for a better life, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen with you. This is our last one for the week. And this is called the Trail of Tears. Now, when I say the Trail of Tears, I really do mean that there were tears shed on this trail. I'm gonna read to you the slides and then you have a sheet to do with true or false questions, okay? So let's get started. The Trail of Tears. After the United States purchased the Louisiana Territory from the French, remember French being in England or in the Europe, so remember Europe here, in the continent, not in America. Many people decided to travel out west. Lewis and Clark explored the land all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. They were able to map out a route for others who wished to settle in this new land, like we learned about. Families packed up only their most important belongings and traveled westward in a large covered wagon on the Oregon Trail, which we learned, right? People wanted to move west, so they left and they traveled using their wagons. Along the way, they had encounters with Native Americans, which we learned that the Oregon Trail pioneers exchanged things with the Native Americans, right? Like food and stuff. However, the US government started relocating or moving. So we're right here. They started to relocate. That means to change their home or move Native Americans off their native lands. That means where they lived. And they did that so white settlers could move there. Just so people who were white coming from the middle of the United States could move to the West. They just said to the Native Americans that they didn't have the right. So why did the US government want Native Americans to move to the reservations? You're gonna type your answer there. Now the second, there's a video here, you guys, that you can watch, okay? Eventually, the U.S. government forced the Cherokee Nation and other tribes to move from their homeland to an Indian territory in Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma is right here. So they made them move from over here in this area of the West to Oklahoma so that people who were white could move to the West. Many tribes were marched at gunpoint to special areas called reservations. This march became known as the Trail of Tears. In 1830, Congress passed the Indian Removal Act. It took several years for all the tribes to be moved into one place. So the tribes were forced, no matter what their choice was. The government made the tribes, the people like the president and stuff like that government, you guys, made the tribes move. And many Native Americans agreed to move because they felt like they had no choice. Others were angry and refused to move, but the US military had more men and weapons, so the tribes knew they were outnumbered and eventually gave in. That means that they just decided to leave because they knew they didn't have any type of chance to fight against the government and the military. Even though they were promised a specific area to settle in Oklahoma, much of that land was taken from them too. More than 17,000 Native Americans moved from their homes and nearly 3,000 died along the trail. So how do you think Native Americans felt about moving away from their native lands? You're gonna type your answer there, my friends. And the very last thing that you're going to do is a matching, okay? 
So here, the US government moved Native Americans off their blank so that the white settlers could move there. So the US government moved Native Americans off their removal, Oklahoma, tears, homeland or reservations. Now remember homeland is where people live and reservations are where places for people to be moved to. Many tribes were marched to special areas called blank, homeland, reservations, tiers, removal, or Oklahoma. In 1830, Congress passed the Indian Blank Act, the Indian Removal Act, the Indian Oklahoma Act, the Indian Tears Act, the Indian Homeland Act, or the Indian Reservations Act. They were promised an area to settle in, blank, but much of that land was taken from them too. Where did they get told they could leave and move to? Removal, Oklahoma, tears, homeland, or reservations. Last one, many died along the way. This march was called the Trail of, I just gave you a hint there, the Trail of Removal, the Trail of Oklahoma, the Trail of Tears, the Trail of Homeland, or the Trail of Reservations. All right, you guys, after this video, go click on the Google slide and do your work. You can reread it if you want, but don't forget to watch the video and don't forget to answer the questions and turn it in, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow at Fun Friday. Have a good Thursday. Bye. Stay cool.